So much more, so the search for new leadership is on at both places. Leadership that they hope will recapture some past glory. Now, whoever the new athletic director is at Miami owes a tip of the cap, if not building a statue to Herb Street, because after he shined a light on the hurricane, shall we say, thriftiness and lack of alignment to the top levels of the administration, they've now committed to spend 20 to 30 more million more dollars on the football program. Now, what that means and who will be directing it, that remains to be seen. Bigger financial commitment, that is the key. It's been 20 years since Miami won a national championship, and about a month ago, as part of a piece that we're working on to celebrate that, several of those hurricanes got together to talk about what it was like then, what the standard is, and what type of investment Miami needs that you really can't put a price tag on. What's it going to take to get this program back? It's going to take, take a lot of work, right? And I think that's the easy part. But I think that the development within the program of the players themselves, these guys have been living without an identity. The standards, I'm not going to get into that part right now. Like, the standards not even close to where it used to be, to be honest. Our standard was well above because um, we was not individuals. We was truly a team. The individual was put on the back burner for the brothers. You know, I think it's a, a combination of setting the bar higher. You need a group of, like, strong, strong. Like, we had, we had a group when I came my freshman year. The seniors were strong. Like, they were a very strong-knit group, and they led by example. So they need that back as well. Andrea Adelson working on that piece for that you will see in the coming weeks. Under Manny Diaz, Miami is 19 and 15. They've lost both of their bowl games. They haven't beaten a top 10 opponent. They've had issues with missed tackles. But, you know, when the ACC was set up in divisions and Miami came into the conference, I think the idea was that the Hurricanes would be in the championship game every year. Yep. As it's unfolded, Miami's been to the championship game the same number of times as Duke and Pitt, although Pitt can break that tie today. Yeah. They're pouring more money into it, but I mean, they, they've got to change some things. Two that. bad signs happened for Coach Manny Diaz recently. Yeah. One, he lost to Florida State, mm -hmm. and two, his AD is gone. Yeah. That's bad, it's big, yeah. big, but not all is lost. If he wins the last two, he ends up seven and five, and maybe, maybe he'll be back next year. You've always said this, and I agree with it, you know, when, when I think Scott Frost has this, when a team season looks to be over and, and they're losing and they're not going to a bowl game and they're not going to win a championship, does the team quit or they keep playing? One thing you can say about Manny Diaz's team is through all this noise, his team, they didn't win last week, but they're playing hard for him and for each other. I thought Ed Reed summed up to me what's been missing at Miami for a long time, no matter who the head coach is. The players playing for each other putting the individual goals kind of on the back burner. Of course, Des, you want to have goals, right? Yeah, yeah. But putting them on the back burner while you play for that brotherhood. Right. When Miami was Miami, yeah. it was that brotherhood. And winning was all that mattered. And if Absolutely. you went to the NFL, I think that's a misnomer. You see all these individual stars that went to the NFL from Miami. Right. But when they were in Miami, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was from this. Miami. Yeah, yeah. That's what they got to get back to. I tell you what, and Jonathan Vilma, he brought up an interesting point, too. He talked about the upperclassmen and the leadership that he saw from the upperclassmen. And it was a strange thing happened in Miami this year. Some of the upperclassmen, I don't know if they were thinking about the draft or they were just thinking about individual goals, like Kirk just said, but they weren't playing up to the standard. And Manny did not hesitate in replacing some upperclassmen with freshmen. And then they started to win the game. And like Kirk said, the one thing I noticed, even when they lost games, they weren't getting blown out. Like they were still in games, you know, a, a, a boink off of a goalpost yeah. here or something yeah. like that. And that's the difference. I love the way that they went out there and they consistently competed. So uh, to me, there's hope for this Hurricanes team. Yeah, you know, Bear, I always think when I hear this program's going to spend a bunch more money and then they fire the guy who was in charge of it, what would have happened if you'd just done, done that to begin with? But where do you assess where your alma mater is in terms uh, of football? It, football? It, it's tough because people want to criticize Matty and they want him gone. But at the same time, you look at what he's done since he's gotten there. They didn't have any talent on the roster when he got there. He went heavy into the portal and brought some players in. Uh, first year, 
Uh, offense didn't, wasn't good at all. Got rid of the offensive coordinator, brought, brought in Lashley. Defense had struggles. Got rid of the defensive coordinator, made some change. Like, you know, Dez said too, early in the year, some of the upper class weren't playing. Okay, we're going to overall lift the young guys. Like, he's done the right things and made the right moves and the tough decisions, but it, it, it's tough to say. Like, you wonder now with the AD gone how it's going to play out. <laughs> but it, it, it's clear that they didn't want Wade James to make the decision. Right. Whatever it's going to be, yeah. well, whether they keep him, they wanted someone else. It's just great uh, to see so. they're going to make him a commitment to the sport. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, That's, like I said, maybe a statue coming your way because there was some reaction <laughs> to that after after Kurt really called was. that out, and rightfully so. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.